Miguel Angulo, Product Manager for Kubernetes and Prometheus Monitoring. In this demo, I will be discussing the benefits of our OpenTelemetry instrumentation for Kubernetes. As we all know, OpenTelemetry is revolutionizing the observability landscape with its rapid growth and evolution. Its flexibility and vendor neutrality have made it a game changer, allowing companies to create custom data pipelines and switch observability providers with ease. And in Relic, our goal is to provide out-of-the-box insights for the technologies we monitor. We combine all telemetry signals to offer a seamless full-stack observability experience across the entire stack. What's more, our full-stack observability solution is provider agnostic, ensuring that customers receive the same value regardless of whether they use New Relic's proprietary agents or open source alternatives like OpenTelemetry. And now we are proud to announce the preview release of full stack observability for Kubernetes using OpenTelemetry. Installing the OpenTelemetry collector is a straightforward process that only requires running a handshake command. This command will deploy the collector in your cluster. By default, New Relic installs our OpenTelemetry distribution, Enerdot. However, you have the flexibility to use your own OpenTelemetry distribution as long as it meets certain requirements such as utilizing specific components and adopting our recommended configuration. Once installed, you will be able to start gaining valuable insights from your Kubernetes cluster. So, let's begin the user journey from a Java application monitored by OpenTelemetry, running inside some Kubernetes pods. Thanks to the metadata decoration, we are able to enrich the existing application monitoring insights with additional infrastructure insights. As you can see on the screen, there is a Kubernetes option in the left-hand menu. By clicking on it, you will see the APM Insights perspective, viewing them in the context of the underlying infrastructure where they are executing. On this screen, you can instantly see the application insights in the context of its Kubernetes pod, deployment, and cluster. Correlating insights makes it easier to detect how your applications are performing and impacting the cluster. As an example, you can observe in this view whether all the pods of your deployment are available and running, as well as the average CPU and memory usage across all your pods belonging to your application. Below, you can see how APM methods correlate with the health of the Kubernetes cluster. The timeline charts makes it very easy to detect if any disruption in your application throughput or response, for example, is caused by or related to anomalies in CPU or memory usage in the cluster. If we need to investigate further to determine if there are other problems inside the cluster, we can easily access our Kubernetes experience from this view. By clicking in the Explore Cluster button, users will be forwarded to our Kubernetes Navigator UI, which is also accessible from other areas in the platform. The Kubernetes Navigator enables users to easily group entities and isolate high resource consumption, capacity issues, alert status, and other entity-related data for components like nodes, pods, deployment, daemon sets, or jobs. Use the drop-down filters to select an entity type, metric, or ungrouping criteria. This gives you the control over the entire experience. Thanks to this color gradient visualization, I can easily detect that a pod is not running as expected. By clicking on the hexagon, I get more details in the side panel. Unfortunately, I cannot see any lock or warning event during the last 30 minutes. So I have multiple options to dive deeper into this issue, such as increasing the time window, or clicking on the entity dashboard, or in this case, I prefer to go to the table below and check the Kubernetes events of the programmatic pod directly. In the Kubernetes Events UI, you can check everything that has happened in your cluster, from warnings to normal events. After identifying the issue in the Kubernetes Navigator, in this case, a pod pending to be deployed, I also need to understand the reason behind, the why. The Kubernetes warning is quite clear, specifying that the existing nodes cannot host more pods due to insufficient memory and CPU resources. Now, it's up to the Kubernetes administrator who manages the cluster to provide additional resources to those nodes. Once this is done, the pod will be automatically deployed thanks to the scheduler. So, this is just an example of a typical issue that can affect any cluster. Until now, 
this full stack user journey was only available to customers using our proprietary instrumentation. However, New Relic has taken it a step further and disrupted the Kubernetes observability space by providing a comprehensive, intuitive, and full stack observability solution that entirely relies on OpenTelemetry. That's all for now, so I hope you enjoyed the demo.